Hey folks, today we have a video on this GE alarm clock. This is something I scored from a thrift store maybe a year or two ago. And I was originally going to make a video of it, and I thought I had for a long time, but it turns out I haven't. <clears throat> this is a GE clock radio. Not quite sure on the date. I think there is a date code on the bottom, actually. If any, if any of you know these, these GE date codes that well and feel like deciphering it, uh, go right ahead and let me know in the comments and I'll uh, update it in the video description and maybe in the title as well. Uh, so this is a GE model 7-4601A made in China wood grain finish on polystyrene <laughs> so it's a pretty the nice thing about this clock and the reason I picked it up from the thrift store is because this thing is tiny like here's here's a bottle of toothpaste next to it or in front of it it's small it's really small so it fits perfectly in this bathroom setup I have here with all this lotion and crap in the way <clears throat> I mean I used to have a much bigger clock here but now I can you know I can crowd up a bunch of bottles of lotion or whatever around this thing and it'll be and it'll be fine uh, it's a pretty simple alarm clock and it's just an AM FM radio and an alarm and that's pretty much it as you can see they spelled snooze in the way that GE always does which, without the E there you go, you get you just get the radio, you get and you get an alarm. On the side you have tuning and volume controls. This thing is very simple, there's not much to it. They put FM AM switch on the back. And there's also a battery compartment for a 9 volt battery, which is not currently occupied. I forget why. Maybe I just forgot to put one in there. Yeah, that's not currently occupied. So I don't know if it keeps good time that way or not. Looks like there's a transformer or something behind that vent there. And of course, on the left side, <clears throat> you have a fairly big speaker for a little alarm clock like this. And there you have it. It's a pretty simple alarm clock, and you, uh, as far as uh, as far as they go. It even advertises battery backup. It's got an LCD display right there. Well, it's more like an LED display, actually. Which seems to work. And instead of having a PM light, it has an AM light. <laughs> I find that a little unusual. And there's your FM and AM bands right there. And the GE logo, all behind this piece of plastic. This radio could stand with the dusting. I did not clean it when I got it, actually. It was pretty clean already when I got it, apart from the dust and the switches. Now, the interesting thing, and the thing I like about this alarm clock, is if you, uh, a lot, on a lot of these, you have to hit, like, time set, but a time set button, and then hit hour and minute. On this, let's say if the power goes out, you can hit hour and minute uh, on their own, and it'll adjust the time. So you don't have to, you don't have to, do multiple buttons just to do one thing. However, I don't know about the alarm. I think that's the wake button. Yeah, you hold the wake button and then you uh, set the alarm, I guess. Yeah, then you do it like that. Set it back to 12. And of course, there's a sleep. Email radio times at whyy.org and you can tweet us at whyy radio times to join the conversation. Much more after this very short break. We'll be right back. Sleep button activates this thing. What's better than scoring tickets to becoming a member? You'll be investing in local public media. There we go. The sleep, the sleep on this is a little bit weird. It's hard to turn it off. And that operates independently of the switch up here. Now you heard the radio right there for a little bit, and you might notice that this thing has a pretty big sound for how small it is. So let's do that again. It's through June 26th, a rare and valuable work of art falls into the hands of an ambitious art dealer. Passion and turmoil overflow from the pages of this ancient Japanese pillow book, and the mystery unfolds in a series of sounds really good for its size. Eastern artistic traditions and Western theatrical conventions. Let's Service try the FM band. Constantly changes its point of view. Start the beginning here. Number, 
Sounds like some hosier there. Or hosier. There's the classic station. That's 90.1. Two steps that way, you're in France, and two steps. And there's NPR, which is what this thing is on pretty much most of the time. Yeah, this thing sits on NPR pretty much 24 7 because what I do is I'll come into the bathroom after I wake up in the morning, preparing to take my shower, and um, I'll just have it on NPR and listen to the news in the morning, and that's how I get that's how I get my news every day. Gotten all fired up about uh, smoking food. In fact, he's written a new cookbook called Project Smoke. Clancy Miller, one of the million. Get the lead out, man. There's multi plastic in their smoke. Like tip two, use a bro. Oh, America! So overall, this thing has pretty good FM reception. Per gallon. And of course, every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. Hurry. I'm thinking I still care a dome, but he's coming on the clouds. Kings and kingdoms will bow. I think that's another uh, version of the classical station. I think that's the same station further up on the dial. It's just from a different uh, frequency. There you go, that's the FM band. So you can see this thing gets pretty good reception. I'm really wondering if this thing doesn't have GE Super Radio components in it. Which is why I'm guessing that this clock is probably from the early 80s. Not only because of the LED display, but because of the wood grain and the GE Super Radio stuff. Let's try the AM band. Now there's not going to be much in my area, but it does sound pretty good on AM. You can tell even by listening to the wine there that it's fairly wideband. Choose Cavs defense first. Yeah, there we okay. go. Then the physically limited stuff, then everything else. Okay, but so, I, but I'm not saying that that's the re the one reason that it happened. I'm saying that that could be a percentage of the pie chart, and it's not excusing, it's explaining. And many of you are writing in that Kevin Love knew he was going to shoot a three there. See that? See, people say AM radio sounds like crap. That sounds pretty good to me. If you have the right radio, AM can sound good. Making by him, if that's so, to just be. And that's why this, and that's why these old, these old clock radios are such gems because some of these have really, really good radios in them. Did we take the time to explain LeBron James? Not a whole lot in my area, as I've said. WURD right there. 215, so then they're in Philly. Okay. Not that many strong stations around here. Do we have 
the foundation in principle. There's a strong station. Changing the entire. But is anybody having that conversation? Isn't that a conversation we should be having? Having? What is the difference? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's funny. It reminds me of I was reading a story on National Review today by Jared Nordlinger talking about uh, the Trump and the way he talks about things. And, you know, we've all heard these quotes before. I'm speaking with myself. Listen to how clear that is. And I've said a lot of things. And that's AM um, radio, you know, folks. Uh, I went to an Ivy League school. I'm very highly educated. I know words. I have the best words. <laughs> I've never heard some of these before. And, and tell me how you would define this, because it's on the same topic. Trump had an uncle, John, who's a professor at MIT. Trump has pointed to his head, his own head. And... Doesn't look like there's much else. But as you can see, the radio in this GE clock in this GE clock is fantastic. Move it back to NPR. And the exact next But after I got the voice the voice, um cooking the E And there you go, that's a radio demonstration of the GE clock. I think this has GE Super Radio components in it, judging by the sound of it, because it sounds fantastic. And you get a lot of sound out of a very small cabinet, which is impressive. That's something you'd never get out of a clock radio today. They truly did build them better back in the day. Even, even the cheap ones like this were still built with you know quality in mind. You compare that to the Sony Dream Machine I have next to my bed that's fairly new. That, that, the speaker on that thing's pathetic. This thing actually has a nice full cabinet to resonate in, so you get good sound out of it. I guess we can demonstrate the alarm. I think I think this is an alarm. Kind of take. I think this alarm is. Uh, I think the alarm in this case is just a buzz. I'm not. I can't quite remember. So let's set the alarm here. If you hold it down, it goes slowly. If you press it rapidly, you can make it go any speed you want. So I overdid the time there. Let's try that again. Make it 11.30. 11.29, how about that? So then we'll set the alarm. And then we'll get to hear what the alarm sounds like. I'm guessing it's either a beep or just like the 60 hertz buzz that you get on a lot of these old clocks. But while we're waiting for that, hey, this was a thrift store find maybe a year or two ago, and it's been an excellent uh, bathroom radio ever since. It's really nice to come in in the morning and just listen to NPR while brushing my teeth and whatever. It's just a nice way to listen to the news. It's where I get my most of my information you know, politically and through the news or whatever comes out of this little guy here. So I have it to thank for being informed of what's going on in the world. Wow. Wow, that thing squawks. <laughs> that's awful. That clock squawks. That's, that's truly just like a, like a bird in your ear. Huh, I would have thought that would have been a 60 hertz buzz. I guess it I guess that I guess it is from the 80s then. I don't know. I'll have to decipher that date code. If if I don't, you guys do. So, yeah, there you go. That's the GE model 7-4601A. If you ever see one of these in a thrift store, pick it up. They're pretty nice. Um and and they work pretty well. It's a good clock radio. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video, folks, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.